Hello again, everybody. Uh, firstly, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who left feedback uh, and engaged in the previous video. It seems like the current setup or the new setup is, uh, is a positive um, sort of progression towards what hopefully are better quality videos. Um, however, I must be honest and say that I have already filmed this video once before. And what's even more annoying is that this video was an unpackaging. Uh, I've already thrown away the packaging that it came with and the t-shirt I was wearing is in the wash so I can't even just edit a few things because halfway through the video, well as I was editing it, I noticed something that was truly horrific and I can never ever release that footage anywhere. Um, so I had two options, I either just don't release the video and you don't ever get to see the shirt, which I think is a bit unfair. Uh, I suppose I could have released it with the footage, no, nope, not happening. Or I can do the worst bods job in the world and just do it again. You will have to pretend that I'm opening from the package um, and that's it. Maybe I'll throw some of the final footage of the first edit of the final part of this one just to show you what I was doing. But yeah, it was a kind of a mess, but you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's, that's how it's going to be for a bit, I think. But uh, yeah, let's try take two. Right then, so firstly, I got the Kenny Dag leash card. Uh, it's actually my first one of these, so that's kind of cool. That's, um, I'll add that to the collection of cards that I'm never going to do anything with. Um, so my shirt is in this uh, lovely uh, section here. And it's none of these ones. It's this green one. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, it'd be surprising if it ended up being this one. So, let's open the package. <laughs> da, 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 da. Whoa, what have we got here? So, there's the rear. And on the back, it says uh, Lebenslang Grün Weiss, which is lifelong green and white. And on the front, of course, it is this one. It's the Werder Bremen shirt. So it's their 2019-2020 home shirt. It's from last season, of course. And I bought it from Classic Football Shirts, as the little card suggested. So I bought it before Christmas. I took advantage of their advent uh, calendar deal feature that they always run. Uh, most of the stuff that they were posting up were, had no real relevance to me. Socks, train shirts, scarves, whatever. But they did actually put on some shirts, and this was one of the ones that I needed. Um, I remember when they were doing their weekly deals as well. So they first put the shirt up for like twenty seven ninety nine, then it entered the weekly deals, and it may have been like twenty three. And I was sort of to and fro in a world to buy it. I didn't, and I, I kind of felt like I missed out a chance. But then when it appeared in the advent, it was nineteen pounds ninety nine. So it was actually worthwhile to wait. And any shirt less than twenty pound, in my opinion, is a bargain. Uh, this shirt itself is manufactured by Umbro and has embroidered, uh, embroidered, embroidered uh, logo and crest. The uh, vice off um, sponsor is Heat Transferred. The collar has this interesting lime green sort of little accent and trim around it. Uh, and then on the back, it sort of has a little polo effect. And the material of the collar isn't my favourite material, um, but you know it is what it is. Other than that, it's kind of simple, really. You have the um, sort of subtle vertical stripe effect, which is quite nice. It's a very clean shirt. Um, it's one of those shirts that you'll add to your collection. And, you know, sometimes you might forget it exists, but it's, you know, it's there. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That's the second time I've talked about this shirt, and um, hopefully this time it will actually uh, see the light of day. Um, but that's, that's my packaging. Hopefully this shirt coming off goes a little bit better because that shirt is actually really nice. But I hope you enjoyed this a little bit. If you can see hopefully everything, let me know if you want me to uh, change it up, improve it. Um, and I'll listen because, you know, I, I do need help. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'd do a little close-up for you just so you can sort of see um, a bit more of the detailing. Of course it's slightly creased because it's just come out of the package. But those are the sort of vertical, I don't say pinstripes, but running down the front, going to the size. So it's a, if you want to get a, a medium a GB is the same as US 
the rest is Europe, uh, and here's your union to get one size greater. There is the green, white, and darker green um, trims running on the collar, standard v-neck. There's the logo, which is um, sort of stitched on and embroidered into the material. Same with the umbro. The uh, original Weizenhof sponsor is heat transferred onto the shirt itself. Now if I uh, turn over. So have you got your Lebensland Grund Weiss a uh, little uh, motto on the back that's been transferred. You have the uh, collar, which is sort of, I suppose, like a little polo collar as well, hiding the trim underneath. And then the uh, the hem at the bottom of the shirt, there is a little cut there, so it's a little bit more um, forgiving with the uh, the fit. It's not going to be constricting your waist. Um, but that's it, really. It's a standard Werder Bremen shirt. Uh, if, if anybody's interested in buying one of their shirts from this season, I would probably advise to buy the third shirt. The third shirt is a really nice one. It's black and it's got this wonderful graphic on the front. Um, so if that dropped in price, I would probably advise you to buy that one if um, for whatever reason you decided to go against this one. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. For the price, can't really go wrong. Well, there we go, guys. The shirt in all its glory. And all I need now is four more teams. To be honest, I'm not interested in buying a Bayern Munich shirt because they've not really released any shirts in the last five years that I particularly like. The Bristol Dortmund home shirt from this season is probably what I'm going to buy because I kind of like the craziness of the design. Um, the Cologne shirt. I'm tempted to either buy one of the Carnival shirts that I always release. They're really nice and intricate, but I'm also a bit of a fan of the uh, third shirt from this season. It's like a yellow, green and red, I believe. It's kind of a nice colour combination. So if that ever drops in price, I'll probably pick up that thing. And then finally for Stuttgart, I do like their away shirt for this season. Uh, it's a black with a red, sort of the geographical design of the city. I said the city or the stadium or both. So again, if that one comes down in price, I'll also pick up that one. Uh, but that's it, I've got a decent amount of uh, Bundesliga shirts. Um, I know that there's some Germans and Bundesliga fans who watch this, so maybe you can let me know if you think I've picked the right one. Um, but that's it. Like I said before, let me know how you feel about this format. Uh, I do have one more shirt to open, and that is going to be a beautiful shirt, so I would really, really like that video to be um, sort of well put together. Um, so yeah, let me know, and we'll work on it, and uh, we'll get somewhere. The, uh, yeah, 2021, it's going to be a good year. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, drop me a comment.